Hi friends, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, hopefully much more exciting than the last one was. So yeah, obviously we started off where we weren't quite last time, but it shouldn't take that long to get back there, like seriously. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get back there now, and uh, basically it's because I saved and quitted, of course. Saved and quitted, no, I saved and quit and whatever, as you saw in the last episode. So, huh, it seems the scent leads into this house. So why not just push the door open? It seems to be open for us, so I guess we might as well check out what's going on in here. Uh, more fire. Um, might as well just search. Oh, look at that, it's Ilya. And along with people we don't know, and people, jigs. Yeah, alright, let's go talk to Ilya. Or rather, listen, because we're a wolf, and wolves can't talk to people. Why, I do not know. Probably because their vocal cords do not work in that way. This boy, can you save him? Alright, little lady, try to settle down, okay? I just now sent for the doctor. But this is strange, a child of the Zoras? I wonder if this is all related to the incident to the soldiers we're talking about in back. Ah, uh, what an emotional reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. <laughs> Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folk can't see you, either. <laughs> yeah, and uh, even if they could, I'm pretty sure they'd be pretty freaked out, because, you know, I'm a wolf and all that, and this weird thing's riding my back. We've had tons of complaints from the citizens who can't send prayers to the spring spirit of Lake Ilya. Go there, the location is on the map I showed you earlier. Got it? They're like, nah, we don't get it. Duh. What? Study it and know it well. So yeah, apparently these Hyrule soldier guys are total nincompoops, so we gotta do their work for them. I've received orders to investigate why we can't go to the Spirit Spring in Lake Hillia. Got that? Uh, yeah, I think they get it, or rather they wished they got it, but they just can't quite seem to get it right. But we can, and it seems that we have the mark on our map. So it looks like we'll have to go there, and I think it's made pretty evident how we're supposed to get there. So, uh, if I manage to get lost again, well, you'll know I just am not very good at doing anything right. Much like those blundering fools who are the guards of Hyrule. Alright, here we are. So, uh, we're just heading out. I don't know why I just didn't cut away to going out, but I guess I wanted to show you that we are indeed leaving Castle Town. Uh, you know, just so that if anyone's actually using this as a walkthrough, however unlikely that may be, that they'll actually know where to go, as opposed to me just appearing random places and then going, Whoa, slow down, I have no idea where you just came from. So yeah, let's continue running here in our wolf form. I should be pressing A repeatedly, except it's kind of hard to do apparently, or according to me anyways. So you can go keep going here. Uh, you could probably just keep going that way in the first place without actually visiting Ilya first. I don't know if there's any truth to what I just said there. But uh, if there is, feel free to just skip the part I showed over there of me going to reunite with Ilya. Sure, you get a nice little marking on your map of where the Spirit Spring is, so that's always good, but uh, otherwise seems like something that doesn't necessarily have to be done. Uh, so yeah. And now we find the Great Bridge of Helia. Hylia, or it, seriously, I, I always called it Helia, because even though it's Hyrule, I always called it Helia. So, uh, is it Hylia? Just leave a comment, and, uh, uh, well, I guess when you're writing, it's not gonna matter what you say the pronunciation is, but if you can think of a clever way to actually write in a comment the proper pronunciation, then, uh, go ahead and do so, because I'm willing to know. So, yeah, we're just gonna run over here, because, you know, like, we, we don't fear nothing, we're just wolf people, and apparently it's been raining or something because it's very slippery and looking on the bridge. And... huh? Well, what do you want, Midna? Hey, do you smell anything, uh, funny? Uh... acid rain, maybe? Or maybe that thing didn't take a shower. I'm gonna go with the shower thing. 
Oh, sh that wasn't water. Okay, so it seems we have a problem here. We are getting swarmed by fire, and we have no escape. This is not good. Oh no, we're trapped. Get out of here. Uh, okay, so, um, uh, 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 the boxes, boxes. Boxes are the solution to every puzzle. Uh, when you can push it, evidently, it, there's obviously a need to push it. And you can climb up here, so, um, uh, once again, I kind of feel like waiting for the fire, seeing what happens, but I'm pretty sure I've tried this in my practice run and it does indeed kill you, so you're gonna want to jump for it. Yeah, we're totally gonna break our wolf's bones. So we are down in Lake Helihylia. That's what I'm gonna call it until someone clarifies me with the pronunciation, because like I really don't know. And y you know what? We should have died from that, honestly. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? You call this a puddle? So this is Lake Helia, but there's so little water. Sounds like the Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, so let's go take a look around. Yeah, let's. So, uh, apparently this is Lake Helia. Um, yeah, as you can see, it, uh, well, I guess at this point it might look kind of like a lake to you and you wouldn't really understand. But then you have to think about this. Look up there, there's a bridge suspending way on top of that rock, and, uh, you know... Why would anyone build something up there that seems to lead to nowhere? So all signs point to this is in fact a crater where the lake once was. So yeah, the water level dropped pretty drastically. That's going to be key to the story, of course, so you're going to want to hang on to that. So uh, let's look around. What does this guy want? Um, I'm too old for this. Fire and Falby's Watertop Land Fascination. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. We Do I detect a hint of sarcasm there? Hmm. Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zoras who live upriver do something? Or is it that cursed spirit that floats around up there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. You're way too high. Just kidding. Is that a customer? Oh my god, it's a monster! And he just cowers in fear. So, you know, let's go check it out. We found a monster. Finding monsters is a good thing always. So let's figure out what this monster wants. Hey, dude. Did you at least take a shower? Wouldn't want you excreting oil from your sweat glands that you could burn us with. Uh, he can summon hawks. That should not be a thing. I'm sorry. Uh, this is weird. Is he gonna start attacking us with hawks again? Ooh, that's a big hawk. Uh, and wow. So, it's more like the hawk summoned him in the sense that it looks like. No. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so, uh, yes, we have this thing. It's a, uh, thing riding a thing. That's the best way I can use to describe it. It's one of those shadow birdie things with the shadow archer on it. Um, it's an archer, so it's very good at being an archer. And it caught us. What is this? L let me go. Let me go. Ow. So it has the advantage here, because it can just stay up there, but like all enemies in Zelda that have an advantage of height, it will suddenly come down for no given reason uh, whatsoever. Yeah, I can't take five minutes to beat you, you're just a dumb bird. Die! Thank you! Okay, so you press A when it swoops down like that and just start biting at it. Okay, so now we've got this, now we've got this. Come on, come on birdie, come on, come on, come on, come on, good birdie. Get over here, now. Go, come on. There we go. Nice birdie. Okay, so somehow I had way too much trouble defeating that thing, but uh, no biggie. Fell off now, and we can give it what it deserves for being a dumb thing that doesn't take showers. Yeah, so, uh, is it not dead? Jeez, did I die already? I'm pretty sure I one-hit KO moved it. Okay, I just pressed B. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I just wanted it dead. And now we have this birdie. All right, nice. Good stuff. Hey, stop it. 
Are you a new master now? Yep. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get all the way up to the lake's water source? Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? I can see only a few minor issues with that plan, but go on. So yeah, he'll fly you this way. Um, I believe this is random minigame type thing time. Yeah, well, it, not a minigame yet, but you'll see what I mean later on. But yeah, first off, all you have to do is uh, dash through this. You're flying the bird. Um, uh, controls are pretty standard, except uh, up is down and down is up, like most flight controls in any video game. Uh, essentially, that's all you need to know. Uh, right is still right and left is still left. Uh, press A, you can dash. It's basically used to quickly swoop. Whoa, where did I go? Uh, problem there. You're gonna want to not fail like that. And <laughs> what happens if you say no? I don't want to retry. Does it like game over you, or does it bring you back down? Okay, take three. Spoilers. I'm think I'm kind of used to doing this kind of thing when the water level's up, so this is kind of weird to me. Just so yeah, bear with me here. Uh, so we're just gonna keep going. You don't want to get hit by too many arrows from enemies and stuff. Now, you're going to want to aim your way up there and use dash to, you know, get up there, because if you're any lower than that, you cannot go under those wooden planks down there. It's kind of misleading you into thinking you can, I suppose. Uh, they'll shoot bomb arrows at those things. Where they got bombs, I have no idea. Apparently, our little bomb salesman guy is a double agent or something, which kind of ticks me off, but uh, we'll pay him back for that later and continue on now. So their bomb arrows make the pillars fall. You're going to want to avoid that because if the pillars crush you, well, is it ever a good thing when giant pillars of rock crush you in a video game? Uh, if you can name a video game where it is, then you are probably more experienced than I in the world of knowing weird video games that have mechanics that don't make sense. So let's keep on going. We're almost there, I think. Yeah, as you can see, the map down there kind of tells you how close you are to the end. Uh, so you, it's not like you're going totally blind, um, uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, I don't want to get hit by bomb arrows, don't want to get hit by falling rocks, and there is the exit, way up there. Come on, you see it, right? Yeah. You better see it. Um, uh, that, that's the thing, I, I just want to talk to you guys about this. Um, uh, I know that sometimes, in, especially in Twilight World and in Dark Dungeons, it's really hard to see. Like, it gets all pixely and black everywhere. I don't know why that is. It could be a brightness setting on my capture card that I should play with. It could be something else, but in any event. Upper Zora's River, here we are, and this is the river that's supposed to be flooding the lake down there with water. But of course, there seems to be an issue in which it is not. Ah, we're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, there's a village of Zoras. Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. Uh, sure. So, it wants us to hurry up, and, uh, you know what, we'll do just that in the next episode. Ooh, what do I see over there? Pretty interesting. But yeah, we'll leave everything else for the next episode, because we're running kind of low on time. So, in the next part, we will go ahead, um, uh, figure out why there is no water here, and, uh, hopefully try to rectify that so that we can access the spring and get this place back to normal. I'll see you guys then. And until then, um, enjoy your day. Uh, just, uh, I, I hate it when my outros don't go the distance that I need them to.